Hi, my name is Farzana and I'm teaching meditation today with Y Yoga. One of the biggest challenges that people come to me with with meditation is that they cannot quiet their mind. And the truth is, it doesn't matter whether you have been meditating for one day or like many, many, many decades like myself. <laughs> No matter what, you will have meditation practices where your mind is busy and noisy. And that's not the point because on the days when your mind is busiest, when there's the most activity in your mind, were probably the days that you needed the practice the most. What I really want to get at is the emotional stress that comes out of the conversation that goes in our head when perhaps we might feel bored or we feel shame for not being able to have a quiet mind or a quiet practice or find the stillness. And a lot of people struggle with that and there's this conversation, there's this internal dialogue that's going on in their heads that is not very nice at all. And this dialogue doesn't just happen in meditation, it happens everywhere in our lives. But in our meditation is the time that we have to sit with it the most. And when you sit with it, it can be even more unpleasant because it's louder. It's more present than you would ever imagine. And so as this conversation unfolds, I do have a couple of rules around that and we'll get to the rules later. But what I would like you to contemplate on is the beach, okay? If you thought about the beach and the ocean, you could go to the ocean and every single time you go to the beach and you go to the ocean, the ocean is going to be different. There are going to be days when it is rough and fierce, and there are going to be days when it's perfectly calm. There are going to be days when the tide is completely out, and days when it's so far in that you couldn't walk along the beach at all because the tide is high. But no matter what the beach looks like, no matter what the ocean is like, you would never look at the ocean and say that the ocean is unattractive, that the ocean is ugly, that the ocean is bad or not good. And I offer you to treat yourself in that same way, as though you were the ocean, as though you were the beach. And in fact, the emotions within our body are often thought of as being in water. You can reference Emoto and all kinds of other studies. But this idea of water being the emotional part of our body is, is pervasive through many cultures, many religions, and spiritual tenets. And so what I offer to you is Treat yourself as you would the ocean. And one more thing, be your own best friend. Because if your friends said to you what you say to yourself in your head, they would not be your friends anymore. That is the only rule. And so as we sit today, I invite you to sit as comfortably as possible. Let your spine be tall, as tall as is comfortable for you. Allow your head to be heavy or light wherever it rests. Allow your eyes to soften down. Let your eyelids be smooth and peaceful. Allow the smoothness of your eyelids to flow down your face, softening, smoothing over your cheeks, around your mouth through your lips, easing and releasing down your jaw into the rows of your teeth, allowing space between the rows of your teeth, space between your upper and lower lip, perhaps even really exaggerating that space, allowing your mouth to hang open, allowing that peaceful feeling in your jaw to melt down the front and sides of your neck, over the tops of your shoulders, down your arms, through your elbows, forearms, wrists, palms, to the very tips of your fingernails. Let it flow down from your neck, through your chest, allowing it to broaden across the front of your chest between your shoulder blades, through your torso, through every organ, 
letting a peace and easing flow through your hip flexors, glutes, quads, hamstrings, knees, calves, ankles, heels, through the arches of your feet to the very tips of your toes. So that every part of you, from the top of your head to the tips of your fingernails and toenails, is at peace. Allowing your breath to flow peacefully, naturally, effortlessly. Allow each breath in to bring in prana, life force, chi, and oxygen. And allow it to release what doesn't serve you. And as you release, allow every muscle, every fiber, every cell to let go. Allow your breath to flow. Allow yourself to simply observe your own body, your own mind and thoughts your own emotions as you would the ocean. With acceptance, allowance, and perhaps even an admiration for what is. Bring your awareness back into the room. Bring it back into your body. Back from wherever it may have been drifting in your mind and thoughts. Back to your breath. Take a beautiful, deep, deep breath in. And let it go. Take another deep, deep breath in. And sigh or yawn it out. One more beautiful, deep, deep breath in. And just let it go. As easily as you let go and release your breath, so may we release the other things in our lives. Slowly, gently, begin to open your eyes. And as you come back to this moment, I offer to you that if you did not like some of the thoughts or the feelings that you had, if your mind was busy, one, do you feel better than you did before? And two, maybe it's okay for things not to be perfect. When in reality, perfection is the lowest human standard. It is the most unattainable thing that could ever be a goal that you set for yourself. And what I offer to you 
is perhaps it's okay to have a human experience. And as you meditate, to be aware of that human experience, to simply sit with it, to know as you move forward how you would like to handle something instead, how you would like to feel instead, that you have infinite options. And I come back to the one most important rule of all, and that is to be your own best friend. Because if your friends said to you what you say to yourself in your head, they would not be your friends for very long. So may you always be your own best friend and may you give yourself permission to sit with yourself and treat yourself with the same reverence and the same admiration or the same beauty with which you would regard the beach and the ocean. Thank you so much for meditating with me. My name is Farzana and this is a meditation with Y Yoga.